A little Protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch them up. Round number one is now underway. All the talk is done. It is simply time to fight. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Good fundamental work, landing the one-two there. He digs in with an uppercut after blocking that shot away. I think you can just sense right away that strategy is going to be key here. This isn't going to be some wild type raw. This is going to be a very technical, strategic type fight. Absolutely, Joe. Each guy waiting for the other one to make the first mistake. Two snapping jabs by Nonito Donaire. Teddy, what advice would you give to a power puncher like we have here going up against a fighter who may not be as conditioned and as ready to go the full distance? Well, of course, the temptation is you're a power puncher. You're going to get right to him, and he's a guy that's not going to be around later on. But don't get over anxious. Set up your power shots. And now they're trading blows. Good smooth work by Nonito Donaire. That's Classic counter-punching. Yeah, what he did was he pulled that right shoulder back. You know, he just pulled it back, gave him the left shoulder, and then gave him the right arm. Targets a counter overhand right. Targeted counter-punch by Nonito Donaire. <laughs> Donaire's just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Phenomenal pace being set here. They are burning it up early on. Let's find out who's in better shape. We're going to see. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Solid right by Nonito Donaire. Donaire's punch stats numbers are impressive. You're not giving me the double jab. Here we go. Round two is underway. Threw the straight right hand, but didn't score with it. Very nice work from both men. They each got a shot in. One two by Nonito Donaire. We always see great athletes week in and week out, but Teddy, what sport do you think can produce the best boxers? Well, believe it or not, basketball. Everybody would say football. We saw two tall Jones. He got demolished by little guys. We saw Gastineau. He got demolished. We saw Highsmith. He got demolished. A lot of football players haven't done well. But basketball players, they have the physical skill sets where they can make a pretty good fighter. Of course, you have to get a guy that mentally is adjusted. Blocks a shot and pulls the trigger. Lands flush with the combination upstairs. Good flush shot upstairs. Good exchange, he fires back. Targets his opponent after blocking a shot. Fine work with the left hand, he landed well by Nonito Donaire. Donaire's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Three, 
He returned fire right there, and it worked. After being rocked, now he gets his man. At this point, it's not about the skills and the abilities of these two fighters. It's about the dreams of them, and one of them is being eliminated. Now these two corners have to do their job after both men went out and gave everything they had. Both fighters getting tagged and hurt by the other. Yeah, well, what you have to do now in the corner, Joe, what you're alluding to is you have to revitalize the fighter. Sit some cold water on his head, on his neck, you know, get him ready for the next round, and give him some good advice. Tell him how to way, get away from some of those shots. No, Nito Donier is easily winning this fight just based on his hand and foot speed. He's getting in and out with ease. And what his opponent needs to do is control reins so he gets it down to where his opponent is shadow boxing. Yeah, he's got fast hands, but it doesn't matter if you're not standing in front of him to use him. Right now, he's standing in the wrong place. Now he's putting his punches together, the combination upstairs. If there was a baseball umpire around, he'd call that a strikeout by Nonito Donaire. Donaire's opponent landing an effective counter punch right there. Right back at him with a left hand. Another flush shot up top. And now you see the southpaw pulling the trigger with the straight left. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Wow, look at that training shot. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. Took a shot, now he gives the left. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Double jab by Nonito Donaire. Donaire's movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. Nice. Nice work. He can't have much speed. This is turning into a wasted effort here as we reflect on the first three rounds and get a chance to look at Teddy's scorecard. Yes, he's throwing punches, but nothing's landing clean. He's down on your scorecard, three zips. Yeah, he's wide open every time he throws, and he's getting caught down, especially that right hand, right up the middle. Plus shot, the left hand came in. He pushed it! Able to get rid of that one. Unable to score with the hook. That was nice. He just drew the punch from his opponent and then a good counter by Nonito Donaire. Yeah, like running through the rain without getting wet. Beautiful. Donaire's favorite punch is the jab. And tonight, he's loving it. Well, the jab is the table setter, Joe, and he set a beautiful table tonight. Napkin on the left, you know, small fork on the left, knife on the right, and the food right in the middle. And he's eating all night. You're taking some two, one, two. You getting hungry? Doubles up the jab. Gives him back one of his own. Don't stay in one spot, sir. Ten seconds remaining in this round. Uh, the old timers love that right there. The right hand and the left hook to the head. Coming to the end of this round. Joe and Teddy with you ringside. Teddy, a round like that where it's a lot of busy activity and both guys being busy. When you were a trainer, are those the kind of rounds that you prefer, or do you like the pace to be a little slower? Does it depend on each guy? No, if I have a fight, I'd rather have a guy fighting a guy that you never see him. <laughs> Leave me the heck alone. And where I'm in control all the time. But the fans love to see a fight like that. 
scored well up top. Well placed overhand left after denying his opponent's effort. He's completely turned his offense off. You can see that he's just in an extreme defensive posture. But still, his opponent is scoring here. Look, the extreme defensive posture is a problem. But if he was moving his head with his hands up, at least there'd be misses there. When his opponent would miss, there'd be an opening to come back where even if you didn't come back, his opponent would be a little worried about sitting in there on you. He'd have to think defense. Right now, he's only thinking offense. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. No, Nito Dunier's combination punching is working well here. He got hit, but he sends it right back. How about that exchange? Donaire is able to avoid that punch. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Donito Donaire. And now another left. Good biting, snapping shot by Donito Donaire. Commits to the straight right. Wow, nice flush left hand. Great movement to get away from those punches. Donaire's been in this game long enough to understand what has to happen now. You come off a round in which your opponent got to you and got to you well. You have to bounce back. I'm wondering what the opposing corner is going to do here. They got to their man earlier. They were able to rock him. And really, nothing's changed. He's showing them the same exact look, the same exact style that he came here with. Well, first of all, the opponent should keep doing what he's doing. You know, you're landing, you found something that's working, stay with it until he changes. Good, strong uppercut. He comes right back with it after taking one. And now a little combination punching, landing both shots. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Donito Donaire. Donito Donaire's skill set is single-handedly winning this fight. He is showing you boxing act. And out of nowhere, things can turn like that, Teddy. Everything was looking good. Now it's looking bad for him. Well, that's exactly why. Because nothing was coming at him. His opponent wasn't throwing back. He got a little lax, and he paid a price. Snapping jabs by Nonito Donaire. Plus shot, it was the overhand left. And a sharp counter punch by Nonito Donaire. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. Uh, sending more than one at him now. The top great round now. Back and big, big shot comes crashing home. Oh, that got him. That wrecked him right there. He's down for the first time. Well, right now, just surviving, but if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. Now he ties up there. Not getting it done with that straight right hand. What an excellent two-punch combo by Nonito Donaire. He is damaged badly. Solid. This is going to take some guts to get up from this. Once again, he goes down. The end of round six. Relax, just we hear relax. about guys being calm and cool when the pressure's on. With that eye completely move. shut, the pressure is on. Yeah, this is where you're really ultimately being tested as a fighter, as a human being, as a man. Get out of the way. Punch it. Move your head. No, Nito Donier's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. <laughs> Combination, throwing more than one, both scored there. Making adjustments are such a big part of the sport of boxing. It is the sweet science indeed. Now we have an opponent who is knocked down, who switches up his style. 
But if you're on the other side, how do you react to that? Well, in my way, I say, hey, this is a polygraph test. This is a lie detector test to a fighter. It's telling me that he really is hurt. You know, he's, he's not going to tell me that verbally. He's not going to say, hey, I'm hurt. But by switching to something that he's never done. Oh, he is stunned. He could go. Oh, that's got to hurt. How is this going to go on? Once again, he hits the deck. Well, he's getting practice at it, so he might figure it out. Stay up, he's gonna have to grab on. Kill a little time. A little head on. There it is! Well, he's been there before, and now he's there again. He got floored! You can't afford to keep going on that floor. You have to wonder when the referee's gonna step in now and stop this. Pebble, 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 pebble